Okay, today is Friday the 22nd of March 2019, having some car troubles. I think this is um, one of the dramas about owning your own car, um, when things go wrong it's on you. you know, if you're renting your car, then you can just hand the car back to the insurance company, to the insurance company, to the rental company, and they'll, they'll sort it out and give you a new one in the meantime, or just give you a new one. So, um, I've got a Toyota Prius T3, about it, it's a 2013 plate, and the, the bearings has gone on the front, and I can hear it. Um, I'm going to speed up a bit. It sounds like um, a helicopter, like a whirring noise. Hopefully, it's picking it up. So, when I do like 30 and above, it's quite prominent. Um, I'm on the North Circular now, I'm heading to the garage. But um, yeah, have a listen to this. Yeah, hopefully um, the mic picked it up. Oh. A bit nippy today. So yeah, hell with driving your own car. Um, get sorted out of repairs. Just my luck, anyway. Um, so my car's got just over 100,000 miles on the clock. And um, so it's um, with Toyota, it's 100,000 miles or five year warranty. So um, yeah, <laughs> they're both out. So um, I've had to cover the cost myself. So uh, what I done yesterday. Um, was this noise, I mean, historically, um, on Monday I started hearing something, but it was not like this. So, um, I worked on Tuesday, um, but towards the end of the shift, I clocked off early because the noise was getting a bit unbearable, yeah? It's like a helicopter in the room, so to speak. So, uh, Wednesday I went to see a couple of mechanics I know, um, independent of each other, and um, they gave their verdict and um, at first we thought it was um, like a warp tyre or something, you know, but having a look over the tyres, uh, nothing warped about and the tyres are still quite fresh, um, so it could only be the bearings. Can you hear this? Yes, that's a whirring sound, yeah? Uh, more so when I turn to the right than when I turn to the left, which makes me believe, leads me to believe that it's the front left bearing that's that's going because when I turn to the right I'm putting the weight on the left uh, but I'll be replacing them both front bearings anyway um, I bought a set of rear bearings anyway um, whilst it's up on the ramp um, I'm going to get um, a mechanic to to open up the back bearings as well and have a look at them so I mean if I can do all this in one shot then I'm just going to do it and I've got new bearings to last me another 100,000 miles at least um, I don't know it must be my style of driving you know because um I know guys with cars, and they, their cars got all like near 200,000 miles on the clock, and their bearings ain't gone, so, you know what I mean, I must be a bit rough with my car anyway, so, we're going to go and sort this out, anyway, um, I'm going to be at the garage in 10 minutes, so I'm going to drop the car off, and let them just pop this baby open, um, then I'm going to roll up to, to the Toyota dealership, um, with my compadre, um, pick up the parts, which should um, come in, like, any time now. It's uh, 10 to 9, so hopefully uh, by half 9 these parts should be in at the latest. Now I'll roll back to the garage, by the time I get back there, we should have this car all opened up, you know, all like a can of worms. And then um, we can put these new bad boys, these new bad boy bearings on, you know. And um, hopefully by midday, we've got a fresh car again. So um, that's the plan anyway, so fingers crossed. Yeah man, so yeah, progressively, like Monday, it was just like a really quiet sound man, so... Right 
Okay, so the time's one o'clock now. Um, brought my car into the garage this morning and um, changed out the front bearings. And as predicted, the left bearing was shot. Now, it's worth noting um, with the Prius, there was no play in the wheel. Yeah, so it wasn't easily identifiable um, just by lifting it up and, and shaking the wheel. There was no play in it. But um, once the bearing was opened up, it, I mean, it was dry, the whole bearing was shot, um, had a lot of play in it. It did when you took the wheel off and took the bearing out. Um, so I'm quite glad that I got that done and it was, in fact, the bearing as predicted. So, just returning to Toyota now to give them back their um, their back bearings because I don't need them at the moment. That might be an, another date in another month, etc., etc. So um, we'll see what transpires. But for now, I'm at Toyota, and um, yeah, they're going to get reimbursed me. That's what's going to happen right here, right now. So yeah, thankfully back on the road, man. So if you've got your own car and you decide to take the, the ownership route, know that you're gonna have to cover the costs of any repairs, yeah? And any delay in repairs is gonna keep you off the road. If you're renting a car, I mean, you, they'll probably give you a replacement there and then. Yeah, so um, always bear that in mind, yeah? I mean, it's your car and you're paying for it, all right? Obviously, costs can be recouped against your tax, yeah? Because it's a running cost, maintenance, etc., etc. But, Bear that in mind, especially if you're doing it full time. Yeah, if it's your only source of income and you're not working, you're going to be spending and not earning. Yeah, so have a little savings nest for eventualities like this. Um, if you're a Prius owner, um, keep an eye out for your bearings. Um, I mean, I spoke to the guy in a Prius um, dealership, and he's like, "This guy's coming in here, and their car's got all 200,000 miles on the clock, and their bearings ain't gone." Yeah, so I was, guess I was a bit unfortunate. Um, my bearings went at oh, I've got 104,000 miles on the clock now. My bearings, my bearings, one of my bearings got shot. So I replaced both front ones. Yeah, if you're going to replace bearings, don't just replace the one that's busted. Replace the whole front, or replace the whole back. Yeah, and then you then you're good. So I'm good for at least another 100,000 miles. You know what I mean, if I do another 100,000 miles on this on the clock, <laughs> um, yeah, then I've made a lot of money. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm a happy boy. And I'm um, gonna keep this rolling. Going out tonight, it's Friday night. Well, it will be Friday night when I'm back on the road. And um, I mean, I'll do a bit of a late shift. So we'll see what transpires. Anyway, it's the Gig Guy London. And I'm signing out. Peace.